Could we push back the meeting to six? Let's push it back half an hour. Could we push it back slightly? Could we move up the meeting a few days? Could you take me at one? Could you write me in? Can I reschedule for Monday afternoon? Explaining circumstances. I have a conflict in my schedule. I'm running ahead of schedule. I'm running behind schedule. Something's come up. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Let's start the meeting. If we're all here, let's get started. Please join me in welcoming Jane Smith. We're pleased to welcome Roderick James from our trading desk in Tokyo. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Dr. Jennings. It's a pleasure to welcome our new Vice President of Human Resources, Mrs. Janet Reed. I'd like to introduce Mr. Michael Green. We're here today to evaluate financing options for our new plant. Our main goal today is to make a decision on whether or not to build a new oil processing plant. I'm afraid Jane can't be with us today. She is in our Boston branch. Unfortunately, Raymond will not be with us today because he missed his flight. I have received apologies for absence from Mr. Harris, who is in New York with one of our clients. To begin with, I'd like to quickly go through the minutes of our last meeting. First, let's go over the report from the last meeting, which was held on January 5th. Here are the minutes from our last meeting, which was on July 6th. Jack, can you tell us how the new network project is progressing? James, how is the integration project coming along? John, have you completed the report on the new transportation legislation? Has everyone received a copy of the financial statements? So, if there is nothing else we need to discuss, let's move on to today's agenda. Shall we get down to business? Is there any other business? If there are no further developments, I'd like to move on to today's subject. Have you all received a copy of the agenda? The first topic I would like to discuss today is the refinancing of the expansion project. Shall we discuss the points in this order? If you don't mind, I'd like to go in order today. I suggest we skip item 1 and move on to item 3. Mike has agreed to take the minutes. Tony, would you mind taking the minutes? Mary has kindly agreed to give us a report on the leasing contract. James will lead point one, Susan point two, and Peter point three. Jennifer, 
Would you mind taking notes today? We will first hear a short report on each point. I suggest we go round the table first. Let's make sure we finish by noon. I'd suggest we take a lunch break at noon. There will be ten minutes for each presenter. We'll have to keep each topic to five minutes, otherwise we'll never get through. So, let's start with budgeting. I'd suggest we start with marketing. Why don't we start with an update? So, the first item on the agenda is leasing. Pete, would you like to kick off? Shall we start with recruitment for the new plant? Mary, would you like to introduce this item? Mr. Chairman, may I have a word? Madam Chairman, excuse me for interrupting. I'm positive that the plant will be completed by August. I really feel that we need to address this issue. In my opinion, we will not be able to complete the project in time. The way I see things. Are you positive about that? Do you really think that we should hire a new manager? Lori, can we get your input? How do you feel about extending the deadline? That's interesting. I never thought about it that way before. Good point. I get your point. I see what you mean. I totally agree with you. Exactly. That's exactly the way I feel. I have to agree with you. Unfortunately, I see it differently. Up to a point I agree with you, but I still think we should review the numbers. I'm afraid I can't agree. Let's discuss this issue tomorrow. We should consider Michael's suggestion. Why don't you prepare a report? What about meeting again next week? I suggest that we wait for the final report before making a decision. Let me spell out what I think the problem is. Have I made that clear? Do you see what I'm getting at? Let me put this another way. Please, could you repeat the question? I'd like you to visit the plant next week. 
Would you mind talking to Bob Walters from the HR department about this? I'm afraid I didn't understand that. Could you repeat what you just said? I didn't catch that. Could you repeat that, please? I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Could you run that by me one more time? I don't quite follow you. What exactly do you mean? I'm afraid I don't quite understand what you are getting at. Could you explain to me how that is going to work? I don't see what you mean. Could we have some more details, please? You did say tomorrow, didn't you? Do you mean that that is not possible? Is it true that all sales are up 20%? We haven't heard from you yet, Nora. What do you think about this proposal? Would you like to add anything, Kevin? Has anyone else got anything to contribute? Are there any more comments? Sorry. I think you misunderstood what I said. Sorry, that's not quite right. I'm afraid you don't understand what I'm saying. That's not quite what I had in mind. That's not what I meant. We're running short of time. Well, that seems to be all the time we have today. Please be brief. I'm afraid we've run out of time. I'm afraid that's outside the scope of this meeting. Let's get back on track, why don't we? That's not really why we're here today. Why don't we return to the main focus of today's meeting? We'll have to leave that to another time. We're beginning to lose sight of the main point. Keep to the point, please. I think we'd better leave that for another meeting. I think that takes care of the first item. Shall we leave that item? Why don't we move on to the next topic on the list? If nobody has anything else to add, let's move on to our next item on the agenda. Let's move on to the next item. Now we come to the question of financing. I'd like to hand over to Eric, who is going to lead the next point. Next, Lee is going to take us through the development process. Now, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Miles, who is going to explain to us the options we have. Before we close today's meeting, let me just summarize the main points. Let me quickly go over today's main points. Okay, why don't we quickly summarize what we've done today? Shall I go over the main points? Right, it looks as though we've covered the main items. If there are no other comments, I'd like to wrap this meeting up. Let's bring this to a close for today. Is there any other business? Can we set the date for the next meeting, please? 
So, the next meeting will be on Tuesday, the 7th of October at 9 a.m. Thank you all for attending. Thanks for your participation.